Hi everyone, I'm Tracy Gilbert from Mary Wade in New Haven, Connecticut. When starting my action learning project, I kept in mind two things, tapping into my passion and figuring out what project would have the most impact on my organization. As a clinical social worker, my passion is people, more specifically relationships and how meaningful relationships are important to one's quality of life. Deciding what would have the most impact on my organization, I thought about the question posed to our leadership academy about gaps in aging services. I quickly realized that Mary Wade had its own gaps amongst different departments and different lines of businesses, and that bridging these gaps was essential to our continued success and future growth. Building a cohesive culture began with a strategic partnership between Teresa Wells, our nursing home administrator, and me. Together, we brought our leadership experience to our colleagues at Mary Wade. This included doing leadership exercises and a book club for Switch, which became our common language for change in our organization. I also knew that I wanted my project to have a direct impact on the people we served. This is Bill Collins. He lived happily in our assisted living for seven years. He drew most of his enjoyment from the time he spent in our gardens. As Bill's health began to decline, he needed to move from our assisted living to our skilled nursing facility. Normally, this would mean the end of someone's ability to use the gardens independently. But Mary Wade put safety concerns aside and let Bill continue to use the gardens. He did this for five months until his death in June. Bill often asked as he used the gardens why he was the only person who was using the garden independently. I decided upon his death that we needed to do something to change this. The Collins Project aims to give our residents increased access to the courtyard while simultaneously creating a cohesive culture. This is Yoda. She sits behind our front desk, but one day a month, she spends time in the garden providing supervision, companionship, and a little entertainment to our residents. There are currently 30 staff members who donate two hours or more of their time a month spending time in our gardens with our residents. And there are 35 residents who have enjoyed their outdoor time each afternoon in our gardens. My goal is that people who work at Mary Wade will form a deeper connection to our mission. Our gardens, often looking like the picture you see on your right, now start to look like the picture on your left, full of life and energy. And our staff have been given the opportunity to put their day-to-day -day duties aside to form a deeper connection to the people we serve and to one another. Thank you.